Hello everyone, it's Thursday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Mariah Afola Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Hi, Irene Waike. I'm fine, thank you. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, I love the combination. Oh, thank you. Oh, my friend Dakbo gave me this top. Ah, so I don't beautiful. know if she's watching, just in case she's watching Dakbo. Thank you. Thank you. Love the top. <laughs> oh, Waike's your... behalf. Yes, we're also thanking you. Hi, uh, so Irene Nima. Why? I'm tired. What's tiring you? Uh, I just sleep. I, I just don't know. Hmm. My eyes ache inside. Is there a medical condition for that? I need to close it to you relieve the pain. A few I minutes at least. I think I, I did. Ah. Yeah. I, I watched a video where they say lettuce is good for sleeping. Lettuce. Yeah. Boil lettuce. Mm. Oh, you drink yeah, it? Yeah. You, uh, drink, drink the water. It. Uh, drink the water, boil it. You know that I'm going to do it, we trust you, know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did they say to you, Yaroba? Yeah, go, I like both. This one you just said. I'll I'm post doing it. Today. Yes. 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 I'm doing great. I'm doing amazing. Um, I have a lot of planning to do. So yesterday I walked from my bedroom, <laughs> and um, I set a goal to achieve about three things. And from I think I started 9 a.m. So I was watching the show while I was working. <laughs> I was having breakfast, working, watching the shows. Immediately after the show, I just put off the TV. And I faced my work and I got up like 6 p.m. I was done with what I wanted to do. I felt a sort of joy. So um, it's not about setting plenty goals. We must achieve these big, big things. Even in the little things, if you set a goal that I want to sweep my room, clean the floors, do this, do that for today, and you're able to achieve it at the end of the day, you should be grateful. It means that you're, you're progressing. Yeah, you're successful in the little things that you do. You know, so I was I happy. Your dress. Thank you. You don't I mean, love the hair. <laughs> hmm? So we have we have a news mention today. Valentine is almost here, oh. and the ladies of your view will be organising a boat cruise titled "An Evening with the Ladies of Your View." Woo! Yup, yup, yup. Look excited. <laughs> we would love to celebrate our fans and meet them. All you have to do is get a ticket uh, of a hundred thousand naira and. Voila, you're going to have fun with us. So you pay to see. The money's not coming to us, it's coming to TVC. <laughs> TVC is hosting the ladies of your view yeah. with our fans uh, on oh, February 12th. Yeah. So for your couple, you can come. To, we would like to hang out with you guys. Yeah. So that would be awesome. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, yeah. it's an initiative, and uh, we're definitely excited about it. So we'll give mm. you more information about it um, towards as the days come by. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we go through the front pages of the paper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Okay, let's start with the punch. Okay, I don't see an issue on here. <clears throat> Governor's NLC doubts fuel consumption. NNPC demands 3 trillion naira for subsidy. PDP primaries, 150 political thugs arrest, raises tension, Fayoshi's candidates clinches governorship ticket. Inspector killed fighting headsmen attackers, two bandits dead in Ogun Forest. Overwhelming majority of Igbo don't believe in secession, says Ohanese. Wicked Light claimed abandoned aircraft stolen in 2015, says Amechi. Akiri Dolu alleges massive pay, uh, payroll fraud, vile sanctions against corporates. Okorocha plans world conference on presidential beat, six senators' prayers. Tinubu graduated from our schools in Sis Chicago University. Deductions from FAC to police fund illegal, says court. And um, FG landing cost raises, petrol landing costs, raises to 282 naira per litre, oil hits $19. Okay, which stories are we starting? Give my interest, which one? Oh, Major you, headline? You, yeah, no, no, we can like, not we can, okay, yes. Right. So, um, the former tr Commissioner for Transport in uh, Mamichi's government has responded to the allegations of the present governor that uh, the former administration bought and hid a plane in Germany for all these years and that he just, you know, secretly found it out. He said, that's not possible. According to, let me read him very well. He said, the lie in the River State Government rant is so obvious. It's simply not possible that a plane that was properly documented in the handover notes of the state, the state's Ministry of Transport, which I supervised as commissioner to the incoming administration in 2015 can be said to be secretly abandoned. And what he said was that they had acquired a new plane. 
and they thought you know the old one would not be needed because they didn't they, as they stated they didn't need to maintain two aircraft so they decided to put the other one refurbish it and put it out for sale and that it was being that transaction was going on at the time the uh, the administration was done with the term and so they handed over that aircraft in notes and the position it was in and that you know it was to be sold all those details were put in that handover note that was given to the new administration for whatever reason they didn't continue with it, but it was documented, and now they are claiming it was secretly hidden somewhere abroad. So I have um, the story of um, Ohanes and Ibo. Um, they are saying that uh, the East is prepared for the 2023 presidential um, elections. Uh, they are pre prepared to have the presidency, and they are asking for support from all the political parties. That how it's usually done is when they come out and say, this, if it's to be zoned to a particular region, all the political parties will have a way of supporting that region and giving them, people from that region, the ticket. They also went ahead to say that those people who are, you know, peddling rumors and trying to make the Southeast a hot zone is very political, but that's that not everybody in the Southeast wants secession. A few of them, it's just a few people that are clamoring for secession. The majority of the Southeasterners do not want secession. They want, uh, want Nigeria. Yeah, they're I'll saying that, uh, le let me quickly finish. They're saying that um, the um, Southeast as well uh, were even more ready as at 2015 when he, um, President Buhari you know, came to power, that they were more ready, that the only thing that made them not to have that uh, opportunity was because they had to put the, um, the people of Nigeria first, which they wanted the president who was able to fight Boko Haram issues that they were having. And that was the only way that uh, the president, uh, Mohamed Buhari, emerged as the president. But uh, right now, they are still very ready. They supported in 1999 when they had to support uh, Lushegu Obasanjo. It's their turn now, and this will only show uh, social justice, equity, and fairness if it's given to them. Okay, I wanted to take the Tinubu graduated from our school, since the Chicago University. Um, the Punch carried out a private investigation, and they called the university and uh, and wrote them. The university, through uh, Beverly Point Dexter, said sent a terse um, reply saying that Mr. Tinubu did intend attend our university, um, and if you f need any further information, go to our studentclearinghouse.org website. So they are saying. So he got, got, got a From, bachelor's of administration of the BSC mm, in, okay. in 1979, I saw that story. Okay, yeah. the major headline. So, the Governor's Forum and NLC, that um, uh, Governor Fayemi of Egypt State and NSU, are, they are contending the figures uh, of NNPC, saying that um, the, the budget for um, subsidy has to be three trillion naira. That's what, that's what the Minister of Finance and Budget is trying to put together for, um, for, NA, for the subsidy. Now, they're saying that they, they have to investigate those figures. So according to Governor Fayem, he says we need a partnership with the NLC to confront the challenges of what the NNPC is about because there's a lot of fraud in the consumption and distribution figures that the country is getting and we only can move forward if NLC engages other people who are knowledgeable to tell us exactly um, to conduct a thorough research into the sector before any further action. I'm worried because this is still rhetoric because we've been talking, these are things that have been done years back. Why is it now we're at the point they are, they, they're moving, they're, they're not sticking subsidy again, they're moving it to 18 months after the PIA is reviewed. There's a lot of back and, and forth. And mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's like we're, we are shifting it, the whole the conversation of, 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 yeah, we're shifting it to another administration. It's mm -hmm. like nobody and wants to face it. And they're saying three trillion. Now let's say we get this required change that we are looking for. A new, a new political pe uh, person, you know, they are going to put this thing on that person. On to that start person. Again. Anyway, whoever is going for the election, I think, should actually check this thing properly. I know when you are in your campaign promises, don't go and say, I'm going to remove subsidy. I'm going to, mm -mm. Get it right. Mm. Mm. My own is that it's not easy to get. Getting it right is not a. It's magic not something that's not magic one. It's something that has to be done. And if it is based on what we're doing right process. now, I'm even worried. That is why. If it, whoever. It wins, or whoever is gunning for that position should actually look into the thing properly. Don't just no, be no, making political. Yeah. I asked Bushong. You asked Bushong. Yeah. Yeah, what's the solution? I think we have code. 
Why can't we not we reach? Crude. We have crude. Uh -huh. Must we pay in, 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 in um, money for, you know? Why can't we exchange that for a company to come and establish for us? Refineries that would be national. Mm. Must we? This in the name of privatization, we've sold everything, mm. and yet we continue to borrow. So you want us do to we not try that? Do we not, do not try that with, NEPA, with uh, electricity, and we're having no, no, issues no, no, today. No, 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 We handed over national assets. That's what you're owners. saying. Yeah. Continue to bail them out. I, see, 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 see that's not what she's saying. Us. That's not what she's so saying. So let's find a company who can build us a refinery that has the capacity to do this for our country. Reach an agreement with them mm. in ten years. And exchange crude sales for that. Yes. So it's no taking that, that doesn't people. that doesn't happen overnight because Dangote has been building no, for many can, years. No, you no, can that, 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 that's nice thing you just said in one sentence. Takes years you to build, and that's what Dangote is trying to do. No, it's not what good. Is Dangote's Dangote's primary why, is not building a year. Only Nigeria wants that must take generation. No. I, I agree with Nima. Yeah, but that is not a magic one. It's not going to happen overnight. Yeah, but they're not having we the conversation. Can they have that okay, conversation of trade by butter? That's where it starts from. Okay, they they listen. We need to bring. In the experts to, yeah, to, to tell us about, we have to move on to daily stuff. Oh, you haven't done so Yes, just a very quick okay. one. So, an inspector uh, attached to the Ogun State Police Command, Omolayo Olaji, they lost his life during a gun drill uh, between bandits and policemen in the state. So, they got an information that bandits were disturbing some Fulani headsmen, and then they deployed themselves and went there. Uh, they had like 20 minutes shootout with the bandits. Two of the bandits were killed. Unfortunately, this inspector lost his life. The wife is crying out and saying that um, she has five children mm -hmm. and she needs help from the state to be able to take care of these children. Mm. Daily Sun, very quickly. 2023 presidency, APC rules out zoning. Igbo set to fight for 2023 presidency, says Ohaneze. 2022, NNPC proposes three trillion naira subsidy. Nigeria may face death of policemen in future, ex Inspector General Police. Smith warned. 2023, Saraki Okorocha joined presidential race. Rivers floods FG over police trust fund deduction, <coughs> and UK resumes priority visas for work and study. Okay, which story? Uh, I was going to take uh, Governor Wiki. Let me see if I have that story here. Um, have you found it? Nope. Let me quickly take uh, the Police Service Commission while you're looking for that. So um, I think a former, uh, I want to get his position now. Former Inspector General of Police, yeah, um, uh, Smith Musiliu, is raising an alarm that if care is not taken, Nigeria may face, face a death of policemen in the nearest future, uh, which may make the fight against crime and criminality more difficult. They are saying that, first of all, we do not even meet up to the um, allocations that we're supposed to have. We have over 200 million people, and we don't have enough policemen to handle them. Also, they're saying that uh, we do not have the proper equipment uh, that we need for this. And it, when it comes to recruiting policemen, they said there are some parts of, the, of Nigeria that people are not really coming out, especially in the southeast. They're not coming out. And even when they decide to do, uh, they're supposed to be getting referrals from these um, obas and kings and kingmakers. But then those ones who collect money from them demand money to be able to give them those referrals. And also project people who are not uh, indigenous of the state to join the police force because they are getting money out of it. That if we continue like this, we may not even have enough police to you know, help us in our security issues in the country. Okay, let's yeah, go on a quick you, break. Um, okay. um, we'll come back to continue with the review. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Are you aware that your perfect family may be under threat by germs? Germs can cause infectious disease. These infectious diseases are amongst the biggest killers of adults and children. Illness causing germs are everywhere. In unclean bathing water, on your clothes, dirty surfaces, on cuts and wounds. To protect your family from germs, use the power of Dettol's One Cap Full. In your bathing water, for your laundry, for surface cleaning, for first aid, and to protect your family from up to 100 illness causing germs. Be Dettol Show. At 
TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV station of the year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just... Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing the papers with Daily Sun. So the federal government, no, actually the federal high court, has uh, stopped the federal government from making deductions from the FAC, that's the federal account uh, for, for funds, directly to the police trust fund. According to them, this, uh, there was a ruling yesterday by Justice Hamed Mohammed in a judgment yesterday declared illegal and unlawful and unconstitutional. The direct allocations made so far by the federal government um, to the police trust fund. Now, um, this was this case was filed by the River State Governor, Governor Wiki, uh, and um, and he challenged the unlawful deductions of the federal um, federation account um, by the federal government, and he, he won the case. Interestingly, so right now what they're saying that you cannot deduct from source only the, only the funds going to the local government, the state governments can be deducted from source, not to. Uh, government agencies like the police trust fund. So mm, they are, they're here because you know the, the other states, like 35 states, um, tried to join in this. You said they were not originally in the parties to the suit, so they have to go and file their own. Their own okay. Uh, okay. He couldn't. Uh, their own case. Okay. Yeah. Any other story, the 80 huh? um, thugs. There were um, 105 arrests uh, yesterday. They were all they were going towards Ekiti. They arrested them in um, um, uh, along the Oshun end of the Ijebu Ijesha Itawure Ekiti road axis. Um, they had all kinds. They had pistols, cutlasses, oh. and they were in a, loaded in a, an eighteen seater, five eighteen seater buses, <laughs> passenger buses <laughs> coming um, from. Um, another state to Ekiti for the primaries. Oh, yeah, they, they've they're been arrested. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the Nigerian Tribune. Rivers Floors Federal mm -hmm. Government Court Bars Direct Funding of Police from Federation Account. I talked about that earlier. COVID-19 test. Presidential Committee de deactivates passports of 200 defaulters. 44-year-old man feared killed three policemen shot as gunmen attack Ogun community. Army arrest 150 po uh, suspected political thugs going to Ikiti from Ibadan. Um, Ikiti 2022 fire shares man, BC Kolawoli wins PDP primary. CJN rights judicial officers seeking nomination 
for appointment of six Supreme Court justices. And um, Sarah Ki Okorocha joined 2023 presidential race. All right, which stories? Well, the CJM um, says that the vacancies within the bench at the Supreme Court, and he has written that they should nominate six just, uh, justices, <coughs> that's the um, uh, NJC should nominate six justices to fill the positions. And according to the Vanguard, um, the Tribune, sorry, he had written a letter prior, you know, announcing the death and retirement of some justices, and so that vacancy needs to be filled. Then the Presidential Steering Committee has deactivated about 200 um, passports of about 200 COVID-19 test defaulters after discovering fake PCR tests and, and vaccination cards. Apparently, <laughs> they've been coming in with um, fake PCR tests and... Um, vaccine cards? Fake vaccine cards. They will say they are 10-year-olds. You know, 10-year-olds don't take the test. Mm -hmm. You know, so just, just to bypass the COVID-19 so they have deactivated their passports, and they've said that the rest, they're going to be publishing their names, mm. and that so the other people who they have not deactivated their passports should come quickly now. Mm, to the mobile courts. Yeah, to the mobile court, uh, because some of them were drawn into it by people at the airport, mm. you know, so that they can... Selling it to them, so that yeah, they, can so they can catch... Yeah. So Gov Governor Saolu was in our neighborhood yesterday to flag up the construction of the... Um, iconic Ojota Okwebi link bridge uh, uh, project, which I think uh, was said as 21 years old. This is an idea that's been conceived many years ago and it wasn't done. He was here. Uh, interesting, I heard he came to Kate also. My, mm -hmm. my, my, um, my mother in law was in the market. I said, I want to check out around. So he was also in Kate, I think, to inspect the new Kate market that looks really, really well, well built. But um, more importantly, he came to flag up that construction. And he said that according to the governor, um, is this, um, the, it's part of the theme's agenda and make um, to demonstrate his priority in this administration to ensure that people are able, able to have um, infrastructure to ease movement of vehicles where across the bridge. Where would that bridge be? Um, Nima would know where the bridge be. Nima <laughs> knows bridges. She monitors bridges. <laughs> the governor says we have a firm <laughs> conviction that the 3.89 kilometer or jota where be linked bridge and uh, Jota, approach okay. roads with a point completion inject considerable life into the social economic the activities area. of the thousands of people living. So I, I wonder where the road will well, be. No, it will Ojota, is, Ojota, Ojota is here to, now. Ojota is here. It will cross the Yala road from be. that Okwebi link bridge area. But then, you know, the roads are linked already. Um, no, I'm yeah. thinking, could it be from that bridge? You know that bridge from um, Ojota to Maryland? Across mm. there? Mm. Mm. You know, there is yeah, 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 that yeah, 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 vast yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the link bridge itself. Well, when, it, when, when, when they finally uh, commission they should, it, they should take care see. of the monkeys if it's there. Or there are a lot of monkeys. No, but these there. bridges are really beautiful. If you have gone past through this Agege recently, the place eh, I that didn't one, recognize. That one that, in I fact, didn't recognize the link bridge is there. Oh, the new so, bridge? Yeah, new yes, bridge. The, it's the, beautiful. Um, Ecola Road, yes, all of those areas. Yeah, okay. it was, uh, that was started by Ambody and yeah. finished by finished, uh, Saolu. Okay, moving on quick to yes. Vanguard. Comment is a continuum. Let's battle subsidy on truths together, governors will label. I know. Rivers, floors, FG over police trust fund deductions. Uh, abandoned aircraft emerges allies fault weakest claims. UK resumes visa application processing in Nigeria. Hanifa, another girl murdered in Kano. Twitter, FG moved to apply operational conditions to other platforms. Reps probe on claimed trillions of Naira in commercial banks. And 105 equity found thugs arrested by soldiers. Okay. So following a motion uh, moved by uh, Plato states that Chong Bagus in the House of Reps, they decided to probe on claimed trillions of Naira within commercial banks. They, according to him, it says that seven years after... The BVN was introduced. They have about 445.85 million bank accounts across Nigeria that are yet to be linked to the BVN, and the commercial banks are still allowing that. Also, they have been able to trace a 1.2 trillion naira linked to MDAs within commercial banks that have not been remitted to the federal account. And so, this the banks um, um, also ba banks fail to. Um, Reformed failed transactions within the stipulated CBN 
period of 48 or 24 hours. Because of that, they continue to hold and encourage some form of uh, corruption. And we know these things, how, you know, monies will be paid into an account. And before daybreak, they've been pilfered into mm. smaller accounts. And exactly. the banks are saying, how do we trace it? Whereas these are financial transactions, who should be... And their tracing should be the easiest. Yes. Because so you know, they're they not following laws. Yeah, so to I'd love banks. to see the end of this. Uh, you will use POS. So the British uh, High Commission, we remember that uh, December 6th, they suspended visa applications uh, from Red List countries, including Nigeria. So yesterday, uh, they put on their social media platform that they have resumed work and study visa applications, including work visa application processing, can now start in Nigeria. They also said that uh, from January 24th, uh, they will resume offering priority visa services in the Nigerian visa application uh, center. So people, some people can still get that uh, through their website. So those people who are waiting money. to travel can now travel. Mm. So I was, I was just being informed by uh, the producers that the governor was in the area to also commission uh, the administrative building uh, by the recent, uh, recently built by the Princess Abolanli Bada, that's um, the chairperson. The chairperson. Well. And I would like to get to this day today because I saw a story that interested me. <laughs> governor Soludo says, as governor, I'll drive innocent vehicles as official car. <laughs> Please, let me, let me read it where. He said, <laughs> he said that, um, oh, trigger. He said that. When he assumes office, he would use the innocent vehicles. Um, he also said that he's wearing, he's, he has intentionally be wearing the local fabric known as Aquete, <laughs> saying it was part of his intention Let's to support office. local brands and to make a statement Very with important. it. So That's how we get my Aquete dress is not just a dress, it's a statement. I want to make a statement with this. You know, in the entire South East, this is the only textile thing alive and it's handmade mm, by the women of Equate in Abia State. Ibolan is one of the most uh, Ibolan is one, and we must protect it. We want to bring back the zeal of patronizing our own. Mm -hmm. You know what? You're saying what we love ah, to say. We love you already. We love you already. But he knows. You see, I know we should. But you see, economists, this is what I'm banker, saying. So we know economists. Simple. Mm -hmm. Let me finish. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Let me finish. He said, he said, I have made a wish that not even one cobble of Anambra people's money will be spent on that swearing in ceremony. Back on. <laughs> hey, it is a wish, and I mean it. What are we spending money on? Just few people coming here to come and eat and... Hey. Anyway, hey. Governor, hey. When, the, when the governor is speaking... God, remember I us in a just state. Yeah. What but did you do this morning? God, God, God when? God, God when? God. Other people, God <laughs> when? So, I don't think now. No. Abbasek is working. Now, what's that? You did it. You know the talk about where you know. I don't think we know the cross border. You did it. This is what I've been saying, that Nigeria, we need an economist. Yes. This guy, he knows what to do. He's not going to be bringing... People are not going because you will start wearing yes, that um, material. And people will start wearing that material. What are we going to start selling? We are busy as we talk. How are we going to do? What are we going to do concerning self subsidy? And this might just answer the question. If you show and demonstrate leadership, people and people begin to trust you and earn their, do, earn, earn their respect, mm. if you wake up the next morning and say, I remove subsidy, they will not. They will not um, react the way Nigerians react. Mm. They'll first say, okay, this That's guy, we've he's seen his, he's, he's going somewhere. Mm. We, yes, it might be hard, but because we trust him. Mm. So he's already building that, that trust. trust with his people of Anambra State. Back if he wakes up tomorrow and says, okay, we have banned this thing, so and we're doing so. this, they, they will follow. follow. Uh, he's going to drive, he's, he's not going to go and buy this. Uh, mm. I can't go and not just the big car from this thing. We need to bring Governor Soledo to your view. Yes, I can't go to go. Please let me be on set. Let's go on a break. <laughs> it's Thursday. You guys are starting to do it. Oh, when we come back. Hmm. So, Messi, I called me last night. I'll give you the gist. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. 
TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47%...
Thanks for staying with us. So before we go into our gist, we have a very special guest with us. She's a serial entrepreneur, philanthropist with several ch charities that center around education, human capital development, and healthcare. She owns the only free maternity clinic in Kogi State, which provides free maternity and child nutrition services to all. Welcome with us, Princess Zara Mustafa Audu. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Good to have you on the show. excited to hear from you. So tell us about this uh, maternity care that is free for people in Kogi State. How did you come about this to start this project? Okay, that's a bit of a sad story, something I don't share too much. But um, I have three kids. So when I was about to have my fourth baby, um, I had a stillbirth. So I had done everything right. I was in America. I had the best health care. And I thought I had taken care of myself to the best of my ability. And then, um, you know, lo and behold, one week before my delivery date, my husband comes in. I go into the hospital to do a check. And, you know, the first doctor comes in and they're doing the scan. And then she looks weird. And then the second one comes in and the third one comes in. And then I knew, wow, there's a problem. Because obviously I've had three kids before now. So I know this is not normal. And they won't say anything to me. So um, like 30 minutes later, my main gynecologist comes in because they, they wanted her to give me the news herself. And um, she said to me, well, we need to go into an emergency surgery because, um, you know, the baby, there's no heartbeat. So um, I have to go home, get ready, come back to hospital. And I had this. And um, for me, I needed a way to sort of like um, keep the memory of my daughter going. So I decided to open a maternity, a pre-maternity um, clinic, because obviously a lot of women do not even have access to the kind of health care I had. And still they have to go through stuff like that. So this was a way of keeping her memory going and also um, ensuring that more children are brought into the world scene. Right. So right. that's basically the story well, behind that. Yeah. That's a very laudable princess. God bless you for this. But how are you able to sustain it in uh, Kogi State, knowing that um, um, the maternity will require a lot of funds? Well, the thing, funny enough, it doesn't. The thing with, because what we do, to be honest with you, we just have, we don't do cesarean and all that kind of stuff, complicated surgeries. But what we try and have, uh, like the basic uh, functionalities, which is, you know, you have the hospital beds, the clean water, the experienced midwives, the doctor who's on standby. So those are, for more complicated um, cases, we have to transfer them to a bigger hospital. Mm -hmm. But what we try and do is just take care of the basic um you know, the natural, the natural births that people have. Right. Because in the area where I put it in, Adrian, the most majority, most of the time, what people, um, the people that lose their kids, it's from like, you know, um, um, san you know sanitation issues, like um, right. poor, you know, lack of water, you know, just like basically giving birth in an environment that's not clean, et cetera. So those things are pretty um, affordable. They're easy to actually do. You know, we pay the salary of the, of the nurses, the midwives, and the doctor would provide the basic stuff like you know each time you give birth naturally you need to have right. you know the brand new scissors all the exactly so those are things that are easy also to be honest um because my husband actually did run for governorship um previously before all, all of this happened right um i had there was a midwife who came in from the uk and who supported me with something similar to this an outreach program so i realized that it was actually it's actually affordable to do it's just mm -hmm. something that we have to keep into right i mean okay. where pregnancy or delivery becomes complicated is when you're having a cesarean which most people right. can actually have a natural delivery okay. it's just you know they don't know the, they don't have the technical the best you know um say for instance doctors or midwives right. available they don't have a clean enough environment so that's what we put right. in place for them so it's affordable it's easy to maintain Okay. And I've always had this thing where, well, I've always believed that we must find a way to give back regardless of what you're doing. Right. So this has given me um, an opportunity to give back while I'm also keeping the memory of my daughter going because I okay. named the clinic after her. All right. Okay, right. so um, um, Princess Zara, you are the convener of the Progressive Youth Movement. Tell us about it. How did that come about? Okay, again, a lot of the things I do sort of stem from life experiences. 
Um, when my husband ran for governorship in Kogi State, what we found was that, you know, basically we were novice to politics. Well, I was a novice to politics. He's a bit more experienced because he'd been politicking with his father, you know, for many years before. But we thought, you know, you do things the right way. You take your campaign to the people. You have a blueprint. You have, you know, all that stuff. You become popular. You have plans with the people. The people will want you, and then that's the way forward. But we came to find that it's completely different from that. Regardless of how popular you are, regardless of how much your people want you, how many laudable ideas you have, you can't, it doesn't translate to anything if you don't have the party, if you don't have a political yeah. party that's ready to back you, because we don't have independent candidacy. Then when you come to the political party, you find that how um, many factors play role, starting with Godfatherism, you know, the cost of actually even partaking in the, you know, being part of a big party, how expensive it is to buy the nomination forms, you know, how expensive it is to convince delegates within that political party that you're the preferred, you know, option so you become the candidate. So basically, after, um, you know, he ran in 2019, we did all of that, we did the campaign, we went into, um, into we purchased the forms as expensive as it was about 22.5 million or whatever, we did all of that. And um, because the party knew how strong he was on ground, right, and they wanted the incumbent governor to come back, they refused to have him in the primaries because they thought it would cause a lot of rancor, right? Mm -hmm. So he was screened out the first time. We went on all the channels, including TVC, AIT, et cetera, et cetera, made a lot of, you know, political noise. And there was an appeal. The right. appeal, he was, he was put back in by the, you know, the appeal judges, if right. that's what they're called, but the people were put to as assess the appeal. He was put back in. And the night before the primaries, about 3 a.m. at night, um, the then party chairman, um, Comrade Oshomole, uh, turned, said to his secretary, who actually informed us, that, listen, there's no way we're putting this boy in. He's going to be a problem for us, right? Um, you know, because right. according to them, it's not his time, you know? It's turn by turn. So that led you... That led you... In. He's not going to play by the rules. That Sorry? What, that, that what led you to start the, um, the, the movement? The whole experience that no, happened No, it the wasn't. Campaign? We left... We, obviously, afterwards, you know, it's, it's a long thing. So that was 2019. The movement actually started in towards the end of 2020 into the beginning of 2021, simply because I realized that how, even though majority of our political parties are made up of young people, we don't have a say. We don't have a seat at the table within the parties. We don't, you know, we, they use us when it's time to, you know, for thuggery, for, um, for election rigging, for all the bad vices, but we're not allowed to express ourselves in the positive light. Those of us who feel that we have something to offer are kept in the background. So I decided it was imperative for young people to come together and speak with one voice. It was imperative for us to leave our personal um, political ambitions, but actually fight for one cause. For once, let's fight for youthful inclusion in governance. And that's what the Progressive Youth Movement is about. Great. Mm -hmm. right, let me go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue this conversation with you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. This is Mona Lisa. At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience. Millions of viewers, listeners and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, Curtsy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, 
accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people. We still have with us Princess Zara Mustafa Aldo, our guest. Waiki had a question for her. Yeah, um, we, we learned that you are um, a serial entrepreneur with a string of successful businesses. And you're on that. This um, is Women We Love. So we'd like you to talk about the businesses mm -hmm. and um, How you inspire yeah. young women like yourself. Okay. With regards to businesses, um, I've done so many different things. At the moment, we do a lot of real estate. We are in the process of bringing in our first, Italy Lagos at the port right now, our first batch of um, electric vehicles, which we try to, um, these ones are more affordable because the average electric vehicle, which, you know, like the one that was launched in Abuja here at the, um, at the Eagle Square with the vice president cost about, I think, 18 million. Um, the electric vehicles we're bringing in are more affordable, um, better for the environment. Um, we do a lot of real estate, again, like I said. Um, we've done everything from hospitality, hotel businesses. But um, I, I think what happens with, for me, right, every idea I have, I try, and ex you know, I try and explore it and see what it leads to. I'm not really afraid of failure because I know failure is a part of success. You know, I always use the same, like the KFC story of how he tried so many businesses and finally, in his old age, he stumbled on one that turned him into, you know, a multi-billionaire or, you know, in dollars. So I, I feel that whatever it is that, you know, I feel is a good idea enough, I try and experiment, I try and, you know, I push, I believe that, you know, the higher the risk, the higher the reward. So I'm a big risk taker. So I think for most entrepreneurs, you just have to have that spirit of risk taking. I also try and encourage younger businesses. Like I said, because we're into real estate and we have some real estate, I try and encourage younger businesses by giving out some free um, rental spaces, like for a year, for two years, get comfortable. So I have a few tenants like that, which I've, this, I've done this for a couple of years now, um, just to try and encourage them. And in fact, funny enough, a couple of those people who we've tried to encourage are also in the um, media, like, you know, have smaller TV, or I don't know if to call them TV because most of them are like airing on YouTube or online, but have like smaller online stations and right. stuff. So right. we try and see how we can support, you know, other young people in business. Right. For me at the moment, I think the most critical thing for Nigerians to look at as young people is try and get involved in politics. Because as a business person, right, my business has suffered a lot, you know, due to, um, for lack of words, bad governance, you know. Um, the environment, whether you like it, the political environment affects whatever you do, you know. Um, with the exchange rates um, constantly, um, you know, skyrocketing, if you're doing any business, that means you're bringing goods into Nigeria, you're going to suffer for it. When we started designing the electric cars about two years ago, the, initially we thought we would sell a car like 1.5 million naira. Based on the exchange rates today, we're looking at selling at like 4.5, and that also defeats the purpose of what the business was for because it was modeled at bringing in affordable, um, you know, um, eco friendly cars. But now that defeats the purpose because 5 million for any individual is a lot of money. So these are the kind of challenges right. that you face, which is important, why it's very critical for us as young people to get involved in politics. And, you know, I was watching your show earlier and you mentioned about Charles Saludo and what he's trying to do in Anambra and trying to improve the economy, etc. We need to start putting round holes in, um, you know, round pegs in round holes, basically. We need to, and the only way to do this is for the quality of people who present themselves in 2023 to be improved. If we don't improve this quality of people, we're going to recycle the same crop of leaders and we will get a worse result than we have right now. Fantastic. All right, so... As we wrap up with you, um, let me, I would like to ask about your challenges. I mean, as a young woman, beautiful, attractive, married to a governorship candidate, there's a lot of, women go through a lot of various challenges within their work, family. How was it managing everything together to achieve the success? 
Honestly, I don't really, you, you know, I think for everybody, I believe you guys all in there are quite successful, but as a woman, you find that even, especially as a young woman, you still feel that, I don't see myself as this great success. I still feel that it's a work in progress. Right. I feel that sometimes there are areas that suffer, but I try and prioritize. I have three kids, so my, my husband, my children are priority. Um, at the moment, I have this pet pro. It's not really a pet project, but I have this thing that I kind of feel that I was, I, this is what I was destined to do. This is the only thing so far that has given me true like um, fulfillment. It's not making me any money whatsoever. In fact, it's like it's it's a never ending hole. We're pumping so much money into it, but I feel like we are deliberately trying to identify and help younger politicians grow. And I feel this is us. This is us leaving a real legacy because everything else goes. Finances, people die and you lose everything. You know, you take nothing with you but your name. Right. what you've done, the mark, the, what you, you know, the mark you've left in other people's lives. Mm -hmm. So this is my course. This is where I'm at at the moment, trying okay. to impact. So I'm going to use every media opportunity to spread the word, spread the gospel. We want to support as many young people in politics. So please join the movement. The progressive youth movement is for every young person. Right. Yes, we are APC inclined because you must belong to a political party. But even within the APC, we are seen as the black sheep of the I'm seen as the black sheep of the family. Even though to, in the beginning, I was probably one of the loved ones, right, you know, right. but all of a sudden, because I'm speaking up for the youth, I'm speaking right. up for the people, right. um, you know, people are, you know, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's more of encouraging more young people to join us. Well, Thank good. you so much, Princess Zara. It was a pleasure having you on the show. I like how you said it, APC inclined. Hmm. So you're not in, but you're not. <laughs> I, like, I like the way you, you put it. But thank you very you much. You must belong to a political party. Yeah. You do not have a choice. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. what they've done to us is we only have the APC or the PDP. Yeah. It's either you belong to either. And for me, I would even say, even within the PDP, I want more voices speaking up for young people. The problem is not the party. The problem is that we keep having recycled leaders. We need to be deliberate about pushing in a new crop of leaders. So I hope this message goes somewhere. So thank yeah. you would so you much. Would you run for office? It. I want to do that. Would you run for office? So, no, I wouldn't, you see, that's the funny thing. I wouldn't run for office because we're a family of two. My husband's already a politician. So my job, as far as I'm concerned, my, that's why I said my purpose in life, I feel for now, is to help others, you know, in whatever capacity, you know. Being Fantastic. We have to wrap up with that. Office, but no, I won't be running for office. Thank you very much, Princess Zara Mustafa Aoudou. It was a pleasure having you. We like to once in a while bring in women we love, who are yeah. doing great things, who we admire who we like what they're doing and just bring them over just to inspire other people out there. So thank you so much. I think you've done just that this morning. We're going to go on a break. When we come back, we want our Thursday topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. <laughs> At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience. Millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the East Bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. 
Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the East Bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the East Bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime. Thanks for staying with us. So yesterday, we're going to, um, yesterday on the show, we discussed um, Samuel Kosu and um, then we discussed Mercy Aigbe. While on the show yesterday, Mercy Aigbe had called me uh, because she felt that we were misleading in, in the, the direction of our conversation. According to her, um, her current husband, who she recently got married to, 
and her ex were never friends. And she just wanted that to be clear. So I spoke to her last night. She called. Um, last evening and um, she wanted it to be very clear that it was wrong for us to continue to say that how can she go and marry her husband's friend and that is exactly not what happened she said that they were never friends they only attended where the, the her current husband who was a marketer who's a marketer in the, in the industry um had invited her to her birthday party which she had gone with her ex-husband to uh, to at the time and that's where they took pictures of other industry actors so he was never her husband and secondly she was she told me that morel the man is a muslim He's entitled to more than one wife. Nima, verify. He's entitled to more than one wife. So yes, he had issues with the first wife. And he is now marrying her as a second wife. And she's accepted to be a second wife. Doesn't she deserve to be happy? People should just leave her alone. I mean, she was really upset that people were going to her DMs, cursing her kids. Like, listen, this has nothing to do with my children. Just leave them out of it. It's my happiness. She's a second wife, and she's happy about it. And we should leave her alone, I think. So I think that, um, that settles that. You know, and um, so she's entitled to her happiness. That's yeah. that's her concern. And whether you're a divorcee or a widow does not mean that you're subjected to loneliness for the rest of your exactly. life. Exactly. You're allowed to move on. And if she's Muslim, polygamy is allowed. Limited yeah, so polygamy. So case close. All oh, right. So there is another topic uh, we'd like to add a bit of twist because is there really anything called a perfect man? We know that's not true. Now we know that there isn't anybody perfect. But what are the features women look for, need to discover in a man to know that he's at least suitable for her? How and when can you find them? Then we can discuss this, uh, um, ask if a married man in Frederick, that's a different topic, but this issue of this perfect man, perfect woman. You know, and I said it yesterday, that with, especially with the Samuel Posto story, that this is a woman that looked perfect in every way. And you think that she's got it all, married a celebrity, and anyway. so what, what exactly do we want as a people? Is it that we are totally, we miss our priority on what we need as, as human beings, or we are just constantly looking for more? And that's really the direction of our conversation. <laughs> yes, PC. I think um, for people who cheat, if you're not cheating as a result of having a mental problem, because that one is big, you're cheating because you want uh, var variety. So it's, it has nothing to do with the person in the house. The person in the house may be perfect, may be beautiful, has everything. In fact, you will cheat with people that are less than the person in the house. It just has to do with the person who is cheating and not because somebody is lacking in one way or the other. When they tell you, eh, because my wife cannot do this and they're just making excuses, that's not the reality. Uh, but I know that there is no perfect human being. You can't find one. We just have our different vices in different proportions. And when you're picking a spouse, whether it's a man or a woman, you need to check your list and find out which one tops. So if the person checks like 70, 80 percent and it's good enough for you, probably the 20 is not something you cannot live with. Then you manage the person. Everybody has their baggage. In fact, there's something in my, uh, saying in my place that when you're getting married, it's like you're opening, you're, you're getting a gift. So when you carry the gift home, whatever you open, it's yours, and you have to find a way to use it. That's how relationships and marriages are. So if you're waiting to get that person who will check 100 over 100 on your list, you are deceiving yourself. Because even you, yourself, you're not checking 100 and 100 over 100. If they check you, you have some lapses. But then you find the ones that, okay, this person has this weakness here. Maybe he shouts a bit too much, or he doesn't give me plenty money, or he has this so-so and so, eh, well, I can live with that, and then you, you know, go ahead in that relationship. But if you're waiting that every, that person must have 100 over 100, like I said, there is no perfect person. There is no way, even in the churches, you will not find them. There is no way you find a perfect person. Work with people who, so when you're choosing a spouse, for instance, pick somebody who would hear you out, who would respect you, who would love you, who would feel your love language and you're good. Whatever comes, you find a way to handle it. Nima, your thoughts on this matter? Because I mean, I say it's a bit of a continuation from yesterday because we're discussing lessons learned, you know, and we find ourselves in different scenarios. And um, it's always important for us to review and see how we can take steps, not even to get in, just like she's already said, don't even enter it at all. If you don't, mm -hmm. you're not sure exactly what you're looking for. But once you are in it, you're already in it, in, in, you have met this woman 
and then she's a philandra. You met this man, he's a philandra, and you're trying to manage it, and you don't want to leave, you want to stay. How do you begin to understand and adjust to this new life? Everybody is a package, and they come like they come. So you cannot take some and leave some. Mm. If, you, if you, except you're not getting married, maybe you're in a um, dating kind of arrangement, you can take some, leave some. You can, you know, make up with from other, others. But once it's marriage, because of the way marriage is structured, and, this, and to maintain the sanctity of it, you have to take all. So it's not like, and I would not like to focus on the male side. Let me talk of because what we see more is men who, after marrying, women start to say, "She's not like my mom. She's not this." But you saw her; she was beautiful. You like certain specifics. Then the lacking areas, you start to shout. They come like that. So the person is a person trying to improve themselves, except they stop trying to grow. Mm. If they are constantly trying to grow, give them time. You take them and love them like that. And there's always um, also a saying my parents used to say that uh, your backgrounds are separate. Your exposures and realities are, were different growing up. So you people are coming with your two differences. And if your marriage must work, you must accept each okay. person like that, each person with their experiences and exposure. It's not like when they come in, you start to say, ah, in my own family, we don't do this, I can't ah, take yeah. it. No. You start to put hardship. That's how men create hardship on the woman. Yeah. Or women create mostly, hardship. Or most, women also, but mostly men, because you know they have, we're in the patriarchal society, they have mostly. So you find a woman struggling constantly, trying to become what her husband's specifics are. Some women, it takes a drain on their mental state. Before you know it, she's become a nag, she's become stressed, she's shouting. Whereas she can be a pleasant, loving person if she's understood, you know? And so it's the same for a man. Listen, try to be the better half, and let the person right. grow. All right. Give that patience. Let yeah. me go and agree. When we come back, we'll try to twist the conversation a bit more. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience. Millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, Curtsy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the East Bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and Hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. At 
TVC Communications, we're all about our audience. Millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, curtsy e Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the East Bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing this burden. You know, women go through, men go through, you're trying to be the perfect man, you're trying to be the perfect woman, you know, and you're trying to be suitable for a man, and you're trying to also be suitable for a woman to date her, you know, and you do everything, and at the end of the day, you still break your trust or breach your trust. And that's really the, the conversation. And we're talking earlier during the break that even some women. Go as far to make you meet a mad man, they bleach their skin, they want to look a certain way, they want to enter a certain class, they want to, you know, they do all that, they look a certain way to be attracted to a certain person, and then that person still hurts. So you now think that all the Wahala have been doing, what, to what end is this? Why to? You do, I, I, like I, I, I said during the break, I just said there is no perfect person, so when you meet a man who now tells you, oh, I like my women light. <laughs> so please start to bleach your skin. <laughs> and you start to bleach. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're not doing it, you're doing it for gain. And you will never be perfect. Because mm -hmm. if, if a person doesn't like you the way you are, they will never, never like, like you. you. You know, so I think women should, and men, not just women, men yeah. and women, <coughs> if, if you meet a woman, because you know, two weeks ago we treated that topic on, on the, um, guy who's his wife left him he was mm -hmm. a mechanic mm -hmm. and yes. his wife left him mm -hmm. you know that's another instance of she wa he wasn't he was okay for her when she was when she was new him. so uh, um why here what i see because i have you know had this issue a few times with people just having to discuss what they are going through in their relationship and what i now started realizing is for all those partners it could be a man or a woman now so we are not just on one gender who would see you the way you are and then want you and suddenly start telling you that you have to change. So they're now like, okay, you look at me now, I'm a blackie, and all of a sudden you now tell me that I have to start lightening, that you actually prefer me to lighten up. That's one. Or, okay, yeah, you're very thin, I want you to be fuller. That's two. You start putting pressure on the other partner to be a certain way. Meanwhile, when you were choosing, you saw those people who were that certain way and you didn't come for them. Mm. For me, it's an abuser who does that. It's somebody who is manipulative. And sometimes, because we're in a hurry to just get this love, just be in a relationship, just be in a marriage, we are willing to take in anything. And at the end of the day, you are struggling to 
do things to meet up to the person's expectations. Now, where does it end? You know, we're talking about this bleaching. Most, uh, they said 70% of Nigerian women bleach, right? They're not like because they are men, wants them fair. We were, people like me, were put under serious pressure growing up to change our skin tone. As a matter of fact, it got, yes, it got even modeling. We'll go for auditions, you're good, but you don't get the job simply because you're not bright skin. So a lot of us fell under that pressure. Thankfully, me, I didn't because <laughs> No wahala, when I blow, I can blow myself with myself. You know, I had that confidence, but <coughs> it took a lot. There were some times I would sit down and I would feel really bad. Ha -ha. For a dark uh, uh, human being or a dark girl, especially in Nigeria, at the time I was growing up, you have to work twice as hard. So a, a fair person would just waltz into the place and everybody will notice, but you, you have to be intelligent, you have to be well-spoken, before they even see a glimpse of you. So it's still the men at the end of the day who puts those sort of pressures on somebody trying to be somebody else just to please you. So what my advice that I would give to uh, women or, or men personally is, if you see me the way I am and you think it's okay, come. But if you come with the intention of changing me to be somebody I am not, not to sure. please you, it won't work. No, but because sometimes, when does it end but in so that sometimes it's not about pleasing mm -hmm. the man. Sometimes this let, let, let's talk about mm -hmm. this bleaching for a second. Let, let's let's stick on. I'll come to you, but let, let's stick on bleaching for a while because. Okay. There are people who actually find favors because they are yellow. Mm. You enter a place and everybody turns around because, ah, ah who is that yellow? Is that finally they just came in. Mm. You get the attention. You're automatically and you taste that attention, you realize that, oh my goodness, people notice me because I'm taking care of my skin. Like mm. I'm, 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 I'm bleaching, I'm, I'm light, I'm yellow. So that in itself, not just because of the man, mm. but it's, it's always a decision an adult takes yeah. to, so to get the attention she, she seeks. Not bad, but I make no mistake. The creator makes no mistake. Mm. So, so it is a mental problem. I consider it one when a dark skinned person thinks that, you know, I just need to be a bit lighter to get to make it. If you need to put an extra, it has to be in your intelligence, end of story. Because the old, the, that person with the fair skin will only last long as long as they, they can reach. They're not going to use that. They're not going to use some skin tone to execute any work now. <laughs> any projects. <laughs> See, I wanted to jump on when DC was talking that sometimes we give the men this impression that, you know, it's only the, when we are looking a certain way that we are fine. Mm. And it starts from the person who dates and who leaves somebody to date somebody else. So women who filter looks, you will be in your house with your husband. You wear your natural look your natural hair, and you expect him to love you. But when you are going out, you say you need to look glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> and see, define one, stay one place, don't confuse us. Oh, I have to look no, 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 we women, we are the patronage, we are the everything, we set these standards. And now these standards have become everywhere. Everybody is now using it. And we are still coming now and say, man, you're asking too much. I have you, I see, please. Pick a hustle. Pick one. <laughs> okay, so, so are you, are you there? So wait, let me understand what she's saying. No, no, I want to go to... I want to make it you people will fight me. But the colonization is part of our problem. Major. Christianity is another part mm -hmm. of our problem. Religion, religion. So that it covers all the other religions. Religion. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you why. <laughs> because the religion is foreign. I will go to Christianity, for instance, because there is a, there is a faith. And that faith is a white faith. So you go and automatically, you don't even know in it's happening. In your subconscious. In your ah, subconscious. I'm here, I'll help you with the term. That person that you are looking at mm, is, is, superior. Now, is superior to you. So when and you see- And anybody that looks like that person is superior, is superior to you. Superior. Automatically. So automatically, you don't know. Mm. It is subconscious. Mm. So when you see a white person, definitely that person is Special. my superior because that person that I have looked at as- I want you both. Now, what happens? is I will go to the hair. <laughs> when you do your hair, and you are doing <laughs> like, like when you bow, you will come hair. into that. You, are, <laughs> you know, you are keyed into that superior, so you are feeling superior. So okay, it's, it's, wait, wait, easy wait, for you wait, to say, you got no, nice hair. Yeah. No, no, you got no, beautiful no, hair. Yeah. No, no, Some no, of us no, don't no, have no. good hair. I'm even covering my hair. Yeah, but that's white. you. No, because that's on you. If I had your hair, I would leave my hair out. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's leave that one. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you yeah. because I'm, I'm bringing up my brother's daughters yeah. and I'm trying to make them proud of who they mm -hmm. are. Now, th there are three. Two are fair, one is dark. The dark one feels inferior mm. because mm. she's dark. Yeah. Mm. 
and society. She doesn't know it. Has, I, when I used we to work on this, I had a friend she was of mixed race. Yes. She was nice and light. And when we were working on this, and believe you me, I thought I was finer than her. Mm. But no man would look at me. Mm, when she's there. When she's there, because I was dark and she was light. Your, your, your eyes, the man's eyes, were just you. Yellow. <laughs> they are attractive now. They are attractive. So the yellow. They, they are what you call attractive. They, they look. But I, I have another friend. Where? I have another friend, Carol. She says if you want to know whether a yellow person is fine, imagine that person dark. Dark. Mm. That's what we used to do. We yeah, used to paint pictures. Growing up, yeah. so, so okay. been just the point is, this, I, 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 we can talk about this in a nice nice fluffy way, but the mm. truth, the, the reality, yeah. was the reality. Give us reality. Yellow girls open doors. If you enter a place, that's the truth. Hey, you enter a place. Open, no, 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 no. Sometimes, sometimes you can keep this thing. Some places be realistic. Sometimes you keep the kind of door. If you're looking for a door in aeronautics, maybe not. If you're looking for a door in entertainment, absolutely. Let's be, let's be, let's be real here. Because a lot of actors and actresses realize that it makes them look brighter yeah. and attractive on set. Yeah, so the point sense. is, are we speaking against bleaching? Or say, because these are How adults. Is sense? We are saying uh, these are adults. They can make a decision. If I want to bleach it, yeah, yeah, you can make an adult decision mm -hmm. to go and bleach your skin. It's your business. Right. But the real problem is, how does it affect those coming behind you us? You see what YK is saying that we are missing is that that mentality has now encouraged people to bleach children. Yes. Encourage people to bleach children. They bleach children. children. Okay, okay. okay. And the, the uh, repercussion, let me use the uh, local language, repercussion of uh, bleaching on the skin under the eyes. Yes. Happen to a seven-year-old girl. You need to be a crazy mother mm. to put so your child. child who to go through the consequence of something that will happen in 30 years' time. Mm. When I had my daughter, my children, I said, they come, in, they come out white. They come out as if they don't even have blood. It takes a while, you know? And I brought my child and said, this is yellow. Ah, make him miss one thing with Ori. Eh? So may I change the color? I cut off. Hey. I cut off. Yes. Cut off. Yes. I cut off quickly. Yes. They call it toning. Mm. Eh. So no, no, say, no, 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 glow. No, no, no. Oh. It's glow. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't like this conversation. So why? It's no. one-sided. See, no, it's not one-sided, Murai. One see, OK, we feel like call it one-sided. One-sided. Because you see, we can't even sit at a public place and make this all right. That's mm. how bad it is. We need to regulate this industry of chemists. People that are, are not dark people. That's what I'm talking about. I want somebody yellow on set. We need the yellow person wait, on no, set. Because no, no, no. They have, wait, we, you now. know, we have different categories. They have mm. natural no, yellow, yellow people. I'm not, we are not, no, I'm brown yellow. skin. I'm no, brown skin. You can't be brown. No, I'm brown, brown, brown skin. No, don't See. say, say where you are. Now, me be brown. You be yellow. From your family. But they have, name my way, so they have naturally yellow people. Yellow people. Let me see. God has made you yellow. You don't like you now. It's coconut oil. Me, I know that you use. You don't use any other thing. It's natural. Why can't you know, Ori? Oh, oh, me? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't even use anything. <laughs> so in my family, we called, we called ye my yellow cousins, mm -hmm. my ancestors, who were yellow, white all through. We call, they called them Adidomi. Okay. They called them Jin. Because they looked different. And I still have it, I see some signs of it. But I have never wondered or bo be bothered about how to turn to my cousin. Mm. When you see them, they are lucky to have that air. So it's never bothered me. Just be okay. To but you have that is you. you. That is you. Listen, guys. Eyes. Listen. So I the reason why I say it's one-sided because it's you are not bothered about that. 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 But the truth, because be. you are not in the industry. You are in the industry, but you are you are resolute to stay in where you are. Yeah. But, yeah. but it was a lot of work. Yeah, 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 that resolution <laughs> was a lot of work. Yes. That resolution came from a place of. Uh, my father had instilled in me enough confidence mm. that I was beautiful oh. in any color. So I have a, I have a, a three kids. The two girls are, they're not even close to your color, but a bit you will say they are a bit light. My son is dark. And I know what I tell him almost on a weekly, monthly basis that black don't crack. You're like your mommy, your kids. You're going to look like this in the next 70 years. Yes. Trust me, they'll be arguing your age. To make him understand that <laughs> he should own his color. Mm. Because he watches cartoons. He sees what is happening on social media. And he sees that everybody's after the very attractive one. And when you come to my house, you dare not tell me one child is finer than one. I will beat you yeah. up. Simple. No. I'm doing it deliberately because yeah. I knew what I went through. So in a society see, where fair catches everybody's yes, attention. This is you are deliberate. Let's put yourself in the shoes of a young lady. You don't have anybody in this Nigeria. Mm. You have no connection. You have nothing. But you have a good talent as an actor. Mm. And you go in for auditions. And you have the only chance you have is to be brighter and lighter. So you take that chance. And guess what? You get the role. Now, mm. whose fault is it that 
the, the money industry she's getting into is demanding that she gets lighter. Are you going to blame her for that? But you or contributed to the industry. Who contributed to the industry? Thinking like that, you who, who has that mentality and you are willing to go any length to do something to get about what it. she wants. You've just contributed to that mentality. Yeah. Molaya Jotori Allah, when we were little, children used to, babies used to run competition as babies. Mm. It's not their head that mm. even was the difference yeah. among babies. Yeah. Yeah. Now babies now look where? Yeah. Mm. On Instagram, yeah. they are selling cream. Mm. Do you lose your authenticity because you're seeking for success? For years in success the money industry, you. I did not get any job. I will go for all the auditions. I will go for everything. I did not get any job. I did not get any endorsement. I was not brand anything, anything. And I was seeing my fair counterparts shining in Fanta, mm. shining in Glow, mm. shining in everything. Mm. And I felt horrible. Mm. But will I now say because I wanted it so bad, mm. I will lose who I am meant to be? Today, my color is paying me. Hello. Hello. If I don't tell you my age, you won't I even get it. it. Yes. You won't get it. That's right. I go for things and I don't have tier, 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 tier. You won't, if you look at me, you won't see anything that shows no, I have given birth and to anybody. I'm just tier telling you. Uh, no, no, no. no. Oh, this no. foundation. Oh, 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 Without oh, foundation. Oh, wait. Mm. How we should carry this conversation, eh? Because you are lucky, you are one in 30, 40 yeah. that has been able to surpass yes. that color thing. How are we going to uh, advise our young girls coming up? Coming up. Scum, mm. This is your black skin. It pays it's you. gold. This is your black skin. This is your natural hair. It pays you. Because we, we, are, we are the lost generation. We are gone. <laughs> it's true. I mean, you're younger than me, yeah. but you have already crossed over. Yeah. That's true. true. The ones that are 18 mm. and that are coming, those young, young people, how are we going to tell them that, come, who you are, what you are, is beautiful? Mm. Okay, so I and forget I that. that the person that you look at your church is white. Why can leave that one? Leave that one. Leave that one. Don't let me take you up on that. You take me. I don't want to take it for you. I'm ready for you. Why can't? 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 You, we, don't we don't worship we don't worship him. We don't worship that white blood, that picture you're saying. Subconsciously, God is that's spirit. the picture in your church. That's not the picture in my own church. So why you, ima you, church, why you imagine why you imagine God? What face comes up? Oh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I no, confess, I, confess. I, I I imagine a bright light. Oh. Oh. Yes, not a bright light. Man with no. that yes, yes. Okay, I imagine a bright light. Why do you not imagine a dark light? Exactly. <laughs> There's no dark light. Light, no dark. There's no dark light. Let's go to dark places. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. Excuse me. Light is where it's going to be. Thank you. Why is everything black? Bad. bad. Nobody said that. We didn't say that here. No, no, no that, listen. That's what said. Black men. Mm. Black this. Black sheep. Black sheep. <laughs> black that. Black. There's ah, white lies. Black lies. Black fright. White there's, lies. Are. There's white lies. <laughs> but it, it used to. Uh, it white lies. Used to, it used black to make lies. lies. It's a bad lie. White lies used to make lies. It's nice. Uh, that's white lies. The white lies. Hey, that's good. The black lies. Okay. Devil. Devil. We need to black devil. devil. <laughs> let's go. If they say there is white devil and black devil, please. The white devil is better. It's the color of black devil. Even in your Bible, movies, I just can't hear you again. White witches. And black with sleeves. Let's go on the front. Let's use our platform. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>Prompter, script, check. Are we set in the PCR? All tip in place, PCR. Check. Clock is ticking, time is racing, lights are. Plans all set, 120 minutes of hot entertainment. 
are ready for the mission. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV station of the year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV station of the year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still discussing this issue of bleaching. Initially, we started with um, being perfect mm -hmm. for, uh, for your man or for your woman. And then kind of <laughs> this conversation now uh, moved to the issue of bleaching. But you know, recently my daughter was 10 years old and went for a photo shoot. And the photographer was asking me, why are we not making up the girl, you know, for her birthday? And hey, I said, mm -hmm. she's 10 years old. Yeah, yeah but we can put some foundation here. I'm like, oh, she's God. 10 years old. She's a baby. You know, she's a baby for heaven's sake. So he, he said, eh, well, it should be nice. Anyway, he ju I just said, no, nothing on her. Just take her. 
By the time he took the pictures and came back, he had embellished, put some, put some, make some really fuller lips, you know, made it some uh -uh. colors. I was so livid. I said, you sent me an 18-year-old child. That picture is it's an not adult. My child, though. That's, not, that's not my child. Take it back. Let that child look like a child. Yes. Don't put any lips. Don't put any, just leave her as she is. All you mm. need to do is just change the background. So it's, it, and I agree with you that it's almost gone subconscious where yeah. we are defining beauty even to these little children, yeah. to what they are. And that's why Mariam actually was very intentional about wearing her natural dress. For a whole year when her daughter was saying, ah, you don't look glamorous because she wasn't looking natural. So I agree with that argument. But I'm also asking you to see the other side because the person who's preaching her skin, it's not as if, trust me, that, that process is not easy. You do screening, you do uh, scrubbing, you do kidney. It's not, it's, not it's not an easy process. But for them to do it, they are compelled to. So we don't blame them. We blame, who do we do it there for blame? Because they are compelled to look white because it gives them favor. They do find favor in their industry. People, it opens doors because when you enter an office and they see you looking all, because it makes you look expensive and ah, this who is this person? You come in with a nice bag, all looking yellow. They ask you, are you here to see the MD? Even though you, are, you only came there to see the receptionist. You know, yeah. so it does. There's a way. It, there's a way it does. Whether we want to accept or not, it's the mm. truth. Uh, because we have that mindset, and see. So how do we change the you mindset? Will see what you want to see. That's the way life is. True. Everybody has their different map of the world. So if you look at a situation, it's where your mind is focused. That's what you'll see. see. So if you believe that uh, if I am fair, I'm able to get contracts, and you change your colors, that's because you believe it. And we make our beliefs, and our beliefs make us. So we need to start changing our beliefs. What do we now start believing in? Do we believe in who we are originally? Do we believe in our authenticity? When we believe that, you see that things will change. I had similar issue with uh, your daughters when my daughter was turning 10. And that morning, after she's dressed up, going down to play with her friends for the party, because I had a party for her. And somebody was saying, ah, why don't you give her makeup? I said, no, she's 10. I'm not going to give her makeup. Nobody's making up in my house till you're 18, That's when you're an adult. Even when we go for Christmas vacations and all that, nobody has makeup. She only has lip gloss. And mm. she knows this is the rule here. When you're an adult and you can make your decision, then you choose. So it's the mindset that I have. I believe that in any color, even if I become a lizard today, if I come to your office, you open the door. It's my belief and it's working for me. Mm. So we need to start changing our yeah. beliefs. We need to start teaching people. Most of these people are not informed. They feel, oh, this is what is trending, this is what is happening. Let me align my children so that they will still get the same favor. Right. But if a parent understands that what you carry is not your skin, you are more than your skin, Hallelujah. you're more than your hair, you're Preacher. more than your clothes, and you are who you are, Preacher. you have your uh, essence. People will carry themselves well, and the society will begin to change. Uh, it's simple. Yeah. Okay. It's oh, it's it's so easier said than done. It's let's, take it. let's, take, let's take this call from <laughs> Babs. <laughs> I'm looking for somebody to be on my side. <laughs> Good morning, Babs. Are you there? Are you on today? Yes, good morning. You're live. Uh, Go ahead, please. Thank you, good morning. And what I was going to say was to remember the quote of this man, Bishop Ajay Kauda, um, where he said, Bishop, can you hear me? Very yes. clearly. Yes, sir. Yeah, Bishop Ajay Kauda did say at one time in, in his popular saying that uh, you must be proud of your skin. Mm. Whoever does not be proud of his skin is not fit to live. I think that's the same. Whatever you add to your skin now, um, you know it is fake. Mm. By the time you get home, you remove it, you back to your normal self. Why do you try to be your normal self and be known for what you are? And also, just quickly, with regards to uh, the perfect person whom we should discuss earlier on, there is no body that is perfect, as you have said. However, uh, relationship requires tolerance and compromise. Um, both both parties have to bear this in mind. And I, I, I support uh, Ms. B.C. Ujiadu very, very much okay. in her thoughts. Thank you Good very morning. much, yeah. sir. So, but who are we to be the moral compass for others? I know that we're having that moral decadence in our society and we all want to bring us back to where we used to be. But the truth is that we've evolved beyond that where everybody is, is an adult and can make their own decision. So my, my, my question therefore is that who are we to judge somebody because they, want, they chose to be lighter? Is it not their skin? Are they not adults to make their own decision? They're not judges. I don't carry bad smell close to me because some of them have body <laughs> odor. 
<laughs> don't affect my nose personally. I'm not judging you. You can be uh, as fair as you want. Your nose now. Uh, it's only if, 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 if you see somebody and you feel the difference between you and him and you smell it. And I'm just I'm I'm shit. This is how that's the deep. Why can't he's the only ones that smell? The new ones don't smell. Ah, no, they have a pack. No, no, no. They are used to people who bleach around you. They have a particular smell. They don't know. Nah, there's a ah. All this, I don't even want to mention. I don't even mention names. Yeah. Those ones don't, don't smell. Your moral compass soon. Well, we'll go back. Let me pause you. I want you to. I want to hear a response. Let me take a day from London. Good morning, Nadia. Are you there? Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Sorry, for I know today. <laughs> uh, I want to support the YK. I want to take it from where YK stop. Yes. Uh, the mentality of some of Nigerian men, all of us are men. Some of them is that when they get a white female, they believe they are having fun with a evil girl. So that goes into their mentality. So they see the black as maybe hot, therefore the white one, I mean the fair one, but who normally they call them yellow in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So they believe that ah, my wife is a Igbo, my wife is a Igbo. That's the colonial yeah, mentality the we are telling me. So me, black is beauty. Black girl can bow with love, any soul. But if you, if you have a yellow girl, you've been looking for a special group everywhere, and that costs a lot of money. So guys, not all guys are attracted to yellow girl, mm. but they prefer the black one. Don't think you see with yellow girl, is that colonial method that my wife is yeah. going to go, my wife is going to go. So black is beauty. Let's cherish our color, and I love it so much. Thank you God very much, Roger. But why can you probably experience racism abroad? You see, for those of us that are here, we don't see racism. And many people who date white people is usually a means to an end because it opens doors for you. That's the truth. You're married to a white woman. You're likely to get your social security number quickly or your paper because you're married to a white person. So it's a means to an end, whether we like it or not. So it's not, it's not a Nigerian thing. It's a global phenomenon where it seems like white mm -hmm. seem to be globally acceptable. But I agree that we need to change the narrative, especially because we're going to become we need to take our place as Africans. It's so difficult being on this side. And appreciate, uh, yes, I'm struggling, right? This is struggling <laughs> on this side of the argument. You are trying, you are trying, you're trying. I'm but trying you see, to, yeah. You, yeah, see, you, you see this to... issue of the moral compass that we yes. keep talking about. When, whenever we say, you know, that who, who are we to judge? Why would yes. we judge? So That's your lane. The, the, somebody t said it, you sent a tweet, I wish I could find that tweet. That the business of society is to maintain standards. Mm. And so that's why they judge when the standards are not maintained. So when a person now says, well, we've, we've used this thing to allow everything that was a vice, a negative all our lives, become the norm. Mm. See now the videos that we share. Would you say maintain standard it. or refine standard? It should be refined. See, if you we'll want to refine, refine. Yes. if you want to refine, it has to be society refining it. Mm. If, if it is abusive to a person's rights and certain things, we allow, we continue to, you know, to, to um, change it, uh, not to lose it completely. Mm. Now, people now bleach. The children, we say that because they need the tone to gain uh, favors, mm. to access doors and all of that. Mm, why are we to judge? People now, <laughs> people now violate the sanctity of their marriages. Mm. Why are we to judge? Who is the first to judge? Who is the we drop that. <laughs> <laughs> Baby mama has become uh, polygamy. We're but we are denying you know, polygamy. Right. We do not. Uh, which one gone? We thou shall not own, judge. The Bible says thou shall not thou judge. Thou not judge. Uh, don't judge. Who is now normal? Because who will question this? Who will judge? Who will judge? Yeah, yeah, oh. We, we better talk the one we want to do after. <laughs> Let me help her. Nobody has right to judge anybody. Exactly. Yeah, sure. If I don't like your wigs, that's your I business. I can't judge you. Sure. I can only comment. Yes. I, I, I can't judge you. you because, in fact, because I was on the show last week, Obiagulu wore a white, <laughs> a young, pink, 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 pink funny-looking wig. BJ copy. Thinking <laughs> that copy I will comment. I just, because, you know, uh, is it my head? I just, mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, like it. I just, I did not talk because that's the way she wants to be. Even that your time is to talk. I can just stay in my lane and say, mm. Simple. This girl is not correct. <laughs> Let me just leave her in her lane. Face your front. Face my front. Exactly. It's, you, you cannot judge, but you can change the mindset mm. of the people. I, that's why I tell you, you, you are gone. So you leave that one that's gone. The, is Elizabeth, I'm, I'm, I'm not a gun, I'm still here. Is that the mindset? In the Christian dog, we don't talk like that. In Christian dog, we don't talk like that. Nobody's gone, we are here, we are alive. You are not gone, gone. No, no, don't talk like that. You are crossed, 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 you are crossed
You're live. Go ahead, please. Yes, you're live. You're live. Okay, yes. Uh, actually, I'm calling in relation to the topic to you that yes. you discussed this morning. Yes. About um, fair women. Hmm. And um, I live here in Joe, in and I think uh, the issue of uh, African men or the society of black people giving preference to white people or people with light skin color has to do with the long, long time delay created by white people or European people that white color is superior. I can remember sometimes ago I met a Ghanaian here in Europe who said, oh, whites are gone because of what they do. So that's very important. And secondly, if you will remember, also, long time ago, the music say, Omo Upa, Omo Upa, the Lister, Omo Upa, even longer, to work for one thing. So that great the impression that white men or fair women are superior. And why did that musician say, Omo Dudu, even the longer, to work for one thing? So this Thank you so much, Jeff. What Jeff said even reminded me of something. Because when, you, when, when a girl is fair skinned and looking attractive like that, not just any guy approaches her own. So guys are even scared. See here, I can't maintain this person. Hmm. You, 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 you are, so the girl has already cut off the shark. Those who want to come and approach her, those, those who don't even have anything. The hungry people. The hungry people. <laughs> they won't even come close because based on how she has maintained herself. Hmm. But when they just see you, never, you never, you know, by clean, like just they never, uh, anybody can just walk up to you and say, hi, name, or what's up. <laughs> but this one is not anybody that can walk up to them because they also, you check yourself as a man. So, ah, can I maintain this? So, it's, it's a way to seclude the self I from the people. My cream by, by, per liter is almost 10,000. Yeah. Oh, one it's only 10,000. When are we using 100,000 cream? It's, it's not expensive. Yeah, so coconut oil is very expensive. It's very expensive. And I used to it's drink it. Like it's, like it's, 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 it's very expensive. Yeah. It's 10,000 naira cream. Uh -uh. Oh. Oh, and we started appreciating it because we know people started oh, using it in our mind. Let me take that. Nobody wanted to touch it. Even to make it now, our coconut, they bring enough for you. So you have to go and buy the one that we've been putting that one. Can somebody call to be on my side? Let me see. Dr. Moyo, are you there? I want to call you. You're alive. Go ahead, please. <laughs> yeah. um, that, going back to the conversation earlier, yeah. Yeah. you started with uh, the kinds of uh, things that you should accept and not accept. Yes. And I feel that everybody has his own baggage, man or woman. Yeah. Don't know the bus you can carry. To avoid a necessary breakfast mm -hmm. this morning. So, to avoid a necessary you have to look at, you have to do the construction. You have to wish your skin to look like this. I saw somebody on the magazine of Billboard, on uh, social media, looking to go in. So, avoid all this kind of unnecessary heartbreak. Mm. Just let them know your style and know what you can try. That was good morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, so because um, society has put a lot of pressure on us, we have moved from bleaching to adjusting our body. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you. I was going to go That's there. That's what we do now. So, you now look at those people know that they have like this, the waist is small, the distance out, yeah. the back is... Is it your business? Yes. No, 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 no. It's, uh, that's it's, what you keep saying. It's the problem to our standard. children will go without this. Now, we are forgetting the long-term mm -hmm. effect of some of these things. Mm -hmm. The bleaching has a very long-term effect. So, I have an elderly woman in my place who bleached very well as a young person. Right now, she has so much discoloration. God has saved that she has not gotten cancer yet. Now, she what she that. used, that's right. But she has a lot you of discoloration. Her leg color is different from her face because color. Because she used cheap ones then. Mm, it starts from, you do at your level now. Is there, how many people can afford to buy the one that is injected? There's the injection cheap one they used to sell on the, uh, how the many orca people can afford it? Sell. So you bleed you at your one. level. You do things at your level. Why a lot of uh, Nigerian women right now have not changed their bodies? It's because most of them cannot afford it. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, the ones so. that can afford it now. When I now go on the street, I don't know which one is original and which one is not. I am confused. No. We are following a trend and a pattern, and we're not thinking in the next five years, because I hear that that thing needs to be renewed. 
you have to. So you hear, but you don't know. So hold on, I'm not done, so I won't know. And yeah. I'm not doing. So I hear people, ask people who have do. done, because I watch all of these things yes, on TV, that? they renew every three years. They re you have to renew it and adjust it and keep it. Yes, I am wondering when you get to your 50s and your 60s and you're carrying extra baggage that is not yours, how will it be for you? Let me give so you an example. When we are thinking about all these short term, let's look fly and look everything, let us talk about the effects. I remember. Can I sustain it? Now, you are going to do body. You don't have a house. You don't have a car. <laughs> you are going to use that body to be climbing back. To catch the person hey. that will buy the car for you, somebody's husband hey. that will buy the car for you. Congratulations. You do, but do, do you have, have the money to sustain it in the long term? Because mm. you need to keep renewing. Do you have that? We don't think about this. We just ask. It's trendy, though. Because of the job I'm doing, I have to. So when I post, this thing will have to show. This one has to do, and all that. And we're not thinking about. It. And we're raising young people who are seeing us do all these things. They see it as a. Okay, let me let me help you again. Let me let me help you again in a bit. Okay. So when, when we're younger, most of us watch day watch. Pamela Anderson, you know, mm. so, I mean, when, when, I, when I was a bit younger, I used to wonder, ah, so when this woman becomes 60, 70, what, what, what would be her, what would her change? Because she used to be very, 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 you know, and we all knew it was rubber, you know. So I, I now Google just to see what she looks like today because she's still, I it. no, it's still there. But I think I saw this one says six this days ago. This one has money for maintenance, so you see. Uh -huh. This one, this one, this one, I don't remove this. Yeah, it has reduced. So, reduced. So, so you can be removed. The point I'm trying to make is that from from, from looking at from Anderson, from Anderson, say six days before. ago, it means that it was you yeah. can you can reduce Let it, you can remove it. it. So don't worry. To sustain it now. Don't worry about this the people that are doing it. People who have excess. Yeah, so have money for food that is fine. And that's new. That's why nobody is asking you to come and bitch. No, wait now. So no, no. Even if I have the money, I will not. I rather buy it for my for my course. Don't be cooling you. Don't be cooling me. I will fresh. <laughs> see, that's all I need. See, the truth is, Morayo, we don't know the, the extreme damage of it. Mm. One person can afford it. He's doing it. becomes a standard. The person that cannot afford it thinks, ah, I'm not fine until I'm that person. You, you are hawking bread. You are bleaching. No, there's hey, no, hey, nobody hawking bread. You know, that's that's extreme. You know, no, you are living my body. I'm teaching you that when we are talking this hey, thing, hey, it's the level like of what this I have thing. seen that is making me this angry. Yeah. Listen, what are you if that's the impossible, no, that's impossible sun, cream, sun, because bleaching doesn't like sun so that person is not bleaching that person is not they will not they will not buy bread until she's eating a certain food no that's not true that's not so true that's not true no that's not true what i am seeing no that's not true why are you selling bread for me you give me and your eyes look so how do you want me to eat it okay the truth is okay i've seen that one you can't be we need sunscreen for we need certain level of exposure and education to understand that this thing and for the people who don't have problems they don't have nothing to think yeah change your not if you're your mind is not sitting. Okay, so we I think need sugar. We can be sugar because Nima, we can wrap up with that. We can wrap up with that. Yeah, because that. Time, time, don't go. Go. time don't go. Correct me. Uh, time don't go. All I just want to say is, <laughs> yes. we have the right to judge anybody. Exactly. Yeah. We can only advise. Yeah. Say, please, though, be repercussions. Then, my own. I'm not even talking to like you people that have. They are both done dry. We are not talking to people like you. You don't pass. I don't like this adjective. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it is best when they come. Mm. Your mm. back. Mm. This are your. Mm. Gufran. Gufran. Yeah. Aima. Yeah, yeah. You know? Kaima, yes. And those are the people I'm facing okay. now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Auntie, the crowd of Fungwa. Right. But who will model it for them? We have to run. Like you That's you all we it. can take. So <laughs> my own no is one that. Agree. My own is that if you would like to bleach your skin and you can afford to, do what you gotta do. Hey, I can't close. Okay, okay, let me close. Though. Let me close. No, the you generation to come. Okay, to I, have you. Ah, I have no, heard you. I've heard you. I've heard you. Please. We will beat you. Okay. Okay. Please. 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 Please.